There's no love in this world. Because if there was, then there wouldn't have been a guy named Jesus who was tortured on the cross. And it is a big, big, huge deal of God who came down, separated himself from himself. Why? Because maybe he did that a number of times. Meaning that whoever is God's is God's. In the beginning of Ephesians, when who knows how creation started? Who knows why would an all loving God, why would he create evil? That doesn't make any sense. So, it, you know, like, I'm good. Okay. I'm not going to, like, steal, kill, and destroy from you. Steal. I'm, first of all, I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to lie. You know, like, like, it's all you need to know about someone. But guess what? That doesn't happen unless you live with them. And guess what? It's not worth it to try to even figure out anyone. Because the majority of people are complete total psychopaths. Like, pretend I'm not narcissists in my life. Just, I mean, you're talking about completely, totally nuts. Completely, totally heard me a million times over. Like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. That's why I always screamed. Never, ever heard a word I said. Never, ever. That's total disrespect. Total white trash. No manners. Never ever heard a word I said. Never ever respected me at all. So, I don't believe in one word he ever said. Or it ever said to me. I don't believe one word it ever said to me. He doesn't even get to be called... Get to be called... A gender. A gender should be privileged. To be called a boy or a girl. Wow, especially in this day and age, right now. Like, let's say for a, a whole century. In this country alone, in America, I'm not talking about now. I'm not talking about when Obama became president. I'm talking about before. Obama became president. You were privileged to be a boy or a girl before Obama became president. And I'm talking about same-sex marriage. So, before he ever entered the White House with his boyfriend, Michael, and that is the truth, and they proved it on YouTube. And that's just, like, so stupid. But, Okay, um, it's just, the world makes no sense at all. Like, marriage is supposed to be between two people, two people, faithful people, but it's supposed to be between a male and a female. So the puzzle works. And do I have to explain anything more than that? Do I have to even go into more detail than that? I, that's just the basics. Like, cheating is lying to your partner whom you committed to because you love them and on a love level with humans who are supposed to be kind to each other, with a love level, then sex should be above just animal lust. Sex should be levels above than just animals. Animals are just there to procreate, so. That's all they're there for. They're not, they can't think. They do think. 
they do survive very well in the wild. Who knows how? <laughs> well, I was traumatized with that, so I, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> yeah, I would have died right away as any, any type of animal. I would have been dead. Man, I, was, I was traumatized with that, so if I would have came into an animal in this world, I would have been dead. Dead in the Sahara Desert. Dead anywhere in the United States. Oh, my God. So, it should not be that hard in this world at all for a person just trying to make it and survive. It shouldn't be that much of a secret. Like, here's a helping hand. I'm talking about like for a year. I never relaxed in my life for an entire year. I never had an entire year where I could just lay back and relax. And have every day mapped out beautifully as in a little Walt Disney World fairy tale, which I wouldn't want anyway, because that's fake as hell. But, like, how people strive and try to make it, and it's just wrong of how wrong the world really is. Like, oh my God. My world was total hell. You know, all I knew we were child molesters. And I, I didn't know that, I didn't know, end up being with, uh, my dead husband was a child molester or pretend out narcissist in 2020. I had no idea. Within like a couple days of each other, I mean, it, it was that same week. The same time. I find out child porn is on my husband's phone. And pretend out narcissist is on the phone saying the truth about him child molesting in Walmart and another girl's children. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, yeah, how how is a victim supposed to know? Your, your whole life, like, you're just lied to. I mean, yeah, of course, an insane abuser, the worst mentally ill people in the world because they're in denial. Of course, that's, that's like the worst to even deal with. Like, you can't deal with that. There's no communication there. There's never any communication with a death relationship, with, with total lies. When you build on top of lies, when that's the only thing that you have to go with, with your death relationship, I have to say, because the lies, like, there, there's nothing there. There is nothing there. Nothing. All your death relationship is just built on lies. There's nothing there. Nothing to hold you up with what can transpire. What is the truth? Two plus two equals four. Okay. Maybe I can make it with the truth. But I can't make it with Joe Smo over here with how oh, die two plus eight equals four. No. No, Joe Schmo. With no brain. Hey, hey, wait, wake up. Slap, slap, slap. Joe Schmo. Hey. Hey. Well, what's 2 plus 8? Is that 10? No, it's not 4. Wake up, Joe Schmo. Wake up, wake up. There's just too many um, really, really off yeah, you just can't talk to it. Like, like, oh, I'll just, I 
can stay for another hour to try to get through to a person. I was like, no, no. Years will go by. Decades, then centuries. And yeah, a century can go by with a stubborn, insane abuser. Most definitely. A century can go by and they'll still be sitting there. And they'll still be stubborn and be like, in total denial. Nope, nope, that's not the way it happened. Nope, nope. No. Alex did not have the diarrhea on the diaper changing table at around the age of two years old. It wasn't a little bit young. No, Alex did not, did not have that diarrhea there. No, no, that Tara is making up all these lies, all these stories, you know, all these years, ever since 1999, all these lies for all these years. I was best friends with her. I was the best of friends with that. That crazy girl, what's her name? Tara. Yeah, Tara's really far gone with the wind. Yeah, she doesn't even know what the hell's going on. She's so crazy. She's so insane. She just makes up stories all the time. You can't, you can't believe one word she ever said. She just loves to make up stories. That's all she does. Just no reason. Um, I realize that like half my videos suck because I, I didn't edit them, but they're a lot better than me crying a year ago. And also my chat, my one technical device just calm down on me. So now I have this shit. I have to deal with shit. Just like everybody else has to deal with shit. But everybody else has somebody else to support them and back them up. And I'm so sad that over a week ago, I am not friends with uh, my so-called friend, whom I did help. But she supposedly got paid and supposed to pay me back and did not. But I had a gut feeling, bad feeling, and I was hurt, but she wouldn't stop. But hey, I want more, I want more, and, but she stole. And my life just sucks that way too, but I can do my best to... Try to find some real person. I mean, I'm not going to talk to a, a piece of shit longer than, like, five minutes. And one handless person is getting kind of old with... Well, I mean, I just feel so sorry for people. I can't, like, kind of even be around them, like, longer than a half hour. Like, I feel so sorry for them. But there's not one thing that I can do for them. I was like, oh my god, there's, like, six of them here. Oh, there's two over there in the corner. It was raining that day. Like two there, two here. Like shit, it's six. And then another psychopath comes through. He's homeless. Like, why wouldn't you be psychopath being homeless? God, like, how many like hamburgers would that be? Over in a restaurant across the street, be over five bucks a hamburger. How many are you know? Need a hamburger that are like sitting around me. And like, you know, I, I could do, easily do that every single day. But they would need more than that. I mean, that, that's like nothing. And that's like, these people have to travel. And I, I, you know, I don't even know. They do get checks. So somehow they pay for storage. Somehow they, they have a bus ticket, like, you know, I don't know. 
Alright, so it, it's just so annoying of not that much help out there for people who have next to nothing. And that was me my whole life, and that just sucks. So I'm hoping to have something and to be able to help out those who want to be helped out. And certainly if you're a drug addict, you do not want to be helped out. And I mean, you need your fucking drugs every damn day. Like, what the hell? You, you have to fucking smoke pot and, and fucking, fucking drink every fucking day. You do. To decide to die that way. Like, oh my god, all these people I know that just drink themselves to death. I was like, what the fuck? My husband wasn't the only one. The girl in the trailer park, that's what's going to end up happening to her because her person that paid rent left. She never treated him nice anyway. So, like, well, what's going to happen to her? Like, her, her, her son is not her responsibility. Like, what, what's she supposed to do? Here, Mom, you know, go to an old fake time. Mom doesn't want to go to an old fake time. She wants to drink and smoke her beer. I mean, smoke cigarettes and drink her beer. And that's all she wants to do every day. Okay, well, you're going to die that way. Like, you know, are you in pain? Like, you know, like... If she would pay me, I, I might be able to be her nurse. I can't do that. All right, I'm done with her. Uh, it's just too sad of a subject. She was never my friend. She almost went out with every single guy I ever went out with. That's totally insane. She is completely nuts. Like my mom, who went out with who? And it was just, like, just unspeakable. Like, no, that should never have happened. Oh, my God. My mom did that. Oh, my God. 2010. Oh, my God. My mom did that. Oh, my God. My life's unbearable, unspeakable. Just not right. My life is not right, and I had nothing to do with it. 